It's story time. It's story time. Es hora de el cuento. It's story time. It's story time. Es hora de el cuento. Hi, welcome to story time. My name is Miss Karis. And I'm Miss Bev. Today we're going to be reading our last Blue Hen Award nomination picture book. We have already read I Talk Like a River, A Boy Like You, There's Only One You, and Ten Ways to Hear Snow. Any child age 11 and under may vote after reading or listening to all five books. For more information about the Blue Hen Awards, please click on the Blue Hen link in the description. Today's book is called Wild Symphony, and it's written by Dan Brown. We're going to be reading part of this book and listening to some music that goes along with it. This would be a great book for you to borrow from the library because there are lots of hidden things in it. There's a buzzy bee hidden on every page and lots of tiny letters for you to find while you're looking at the pictures. And if you work together with a grown-up, you can try to figure out what instrument the letters on each page spell. See if you can find a few of them while we read the book today. Wild Symphony I'm Maestro Mouse, I'll be your guide, so come along on my wild ride. You'll meet my friends, they're smart and fun. I think you'll love them, every one. They live in jungles, ponds and trees, out in the fields and under seas. Each one teaches something new, a secret lesson just for you. My friends and I, we have a plan. Try to guess it if you can. Listen well and use your eyes. I think you'll love our big surprise. I'll hide some clues along the way. A hidden game. Come on, let's play. Woodbird welcome. As the sunrise starts to glow, woodland birds all say hello. Honking, hooting, chirping, peeping. Sparking, tweeting, cooing, cheeping. It's so noisy. All those birds, a jumbled rush of birdly words. But if you pause for not so long, you'll hear each bird's own special song. Even when life seems messy, there's beauty to be found everywhere. Bouncing Kangaroo Kanga, Kanga, Kangaroo Teach me how to bounce like you Bouncing high, bouncing low Bouncing everywhere you go Bounce to run Kaboing, kaboing Bounce for fun Kafoing, kafoing Bounce to eat Kachoo, kachoo Bounce asleep Kasnooze, kasnooze when you shake your kanga tail and bounce along the kanga trail, I wish, I wish I bounce like you. I want to be a kanga too. It's great to admire the skills of others, but don't forget that you have special talents too. Clumsy kittens. Jumping here, landing there, tabletop to kitchen chair, tree to fence to porch to roof, floor to couch to stool to oof. Even though they sometimes fall, they don't seem to mind at all, always landing on their feet, never crying in defeat. When life trips them up a bit, cats just make the best of it. Falling down is part of life. The best thing to do is get back on your feet. The Ray Hammerhead and Maury yield, loudly tell you how they feel. But the fish just stare and sigh when the Ray goes gliding by. Strong and graceful, silent too, could the Ray be just like you? Sometimes a lot of noise is not the best way to get attention. Being quiet and graceful can work even better. Happy Hippo The hippo loves a muddy pond with clumps of weeds to nibble on. He's happy just to float and munch. He's got his home, he's got his lunch. He doesn't wish he had the sky 
Life's too short to moan and cry. He just wants to splash and sing. Life is such a simple thing. Sometimes you get so caught up in the confusing parts of life that you forget to enjoy the small things. Frogs in a bog. Croakers, peepers, happy frogs sing together in the bogs. Big ones, small ones, fat ones too. Green and brown and even blue. No one's right and no one's wrong. Everyone just sings along. All of us are different sizes, shapes, and colors. If we could work together, we can make wonderful music. Cricket Lullaby There are times when we just look, like when we read a picture book. But if we use our ears to spy, there's more to life than meets the eye. At night a field looks dark and bare. Our eyes are certain nothing's there. But ears hear things that eyes can pass. Our ears hear crickets in the grass. Now and then, close your eyes and listen. You might see something new. And now for the big surprise. Look at all the fun we can have when we play together with our friends. We hope you enjoyed the book Wild Symphony today. Did you find any of the hidden letters or the buzzy bees on the page while we were reading? It was definitely tricky to find them all. It was. Join us here tomorrow for some fun songs to sing together. Goodbye. Goodbye.